A Tadco overhead door is built to last a long time if it's properly maintained. The purpose of the repair and maintenance section of Tadco Tech is to help you get extra life out of your Tadco doors while ensuring their safe operation. Here are the areas we'll cover. Safety first, lubrication, track troubleshooting, cable replacement, cable drum, spring assembly, shaft or bearing assembly replacement, installing and rewinding counterbalance springs, correcting an improperly wound counterbalance, panel replacement for dry freight, weather tight and polar guard doors, top panel adjustment, seal replacement, hardware replacement, safety decals, ordering replacement parts, help from Todco. Safety always comes first with Todco. This is important. An overhead door is a moving object. Never use a pull strap as an aid to getting in or out of a vehicle. For entry and exit, follow your manufacturer's recommended procedures. Todco has designed two safety decals that are applied to all Todco doors. The information contained on these decals is for the purpose of specifying maintenance and safety procedures that will add to the life and safe operation of the door. Observance of these precautions will benefit the users, owners, as well as the original equipment manufacturers. It is important that safety procedures be followed as described and illustrated in these decals. If a safety decal is worn or faded, it should be replaced. Also, it's important that you never paint over these decals. One of the most important elements of your preventive maintenance schedule is proper lubrication. In order that your Todco door operates smoothly, the following parts must be lubricated on a regular basis. The counterbalance spring, the counterbalance shaft bearings, the rollers, hinges, top fixtures, bottom roller holders, and the lock. Operating a rusty spring puts undue pressure on the spring and makes the door harder to open and close. A few seconds with Todco lube and the spring is lubricated. In fact, lubrication of your Todco door is fast and easy. Here's what you do. Spray the counterbalance shaft bearings. Make sure both bearings receive a liberal application of the lube. Lubricate the rollers. Be generous with the lube in the ball bearings as well as the shaft and the outer tires of the rollers. And allow the excess lubricant to flow into the tracks. Lubricate all center and end hinges as well as the hinge pin. When spraying the bottom roller holders, spray the lubricant through the holes provided. It is also recommended that the lock be lubricated. How often you lubricate depends on your own cleaning routine but the few minutes spent lubricating will always be less than the time it will take to replace the part. Two important things to note. First, Todco does not recommend lubricating any of the seals. Second, the kind of lubricant that you use is extremely important. A moving truck pulls its own dust storm behind it. Using grease as the lubricant will attract and hold this dust. Grease can also harden at low temperatures. For this reason, Todco makes and recommends Todco Lube, or a quality light oil, for use as lubricant. A properly adjusted door should operate easily, and when stopped halfway or below, should remain stationary. If your door is fully lubricated but still binding, a quick examination and adjustment of the track and or spacer washers can often alleviate this condition. Begin by checking the track installation. It is critical that the vertical track is square. To double check the opening requirements, measure at several points between the vertical tracks, then measure diagonally. If your measurements are equal, the door track is square. If not, you'll have to adjust the tracks in the opening accordingly to ensure correct alignment of the vertical door tracks. Next, check measurements at several points on the horizontal tracks to be sure they're equal to the measurement of the vertical tracks. If the horizontal track measurement is wider than the vertical measurement, the horizontal tracks should be shimmed accordingly. 
Next, measure the clearance between the roof bowl or ceiling liner and the top of the horizontal track. The minimum dimension is one and a half inches for the header mounted top seal and two and a quarter inches for the head seal mounted on the top panel. Check the weld points on the track. Once installed, the tracks should be welded at the couplers where the vertical tracks meet the horizontal tracks. Make sure that the tracks are properly aligned and welded in such a way so there is no obstruction inside the door track. Welds or any other obstruction in the track could cause the door to hang up and create problems in the operation of your Todco door. Finally, properly installed, the vertical track head plate brackets should be welded to the header. If your tracks are square and free of obstructions but the door still binds when opening and closing, Check to see if the spacer washers on the roller stems are missing or positioned incorrectly. Spacer washers play an important part in maintaining proper alignment of your Todco door by maintaining the correct distance at the four corners of the door. One to four washers should be placed on the left and right sides of the first section joint up from the bottom and the first section joint down from the top of the door. Tadco offers specially designed split spacer washers that can easily be added to the roller stem without removal of the roller, end hinge, or door. When placed properly, these washers will help hold the door square with the track so it can open and close easily.